Hi, and welcome to Evernote Tutorials. My name is Maurice, and I run a blog called LeightonLifestyle.com. This is a little bit more of an extended part to my original tutorial, uh, episode 5. Uh, I've added a bit more and also showing you some of the web pages uh, and talking through some of the ideas. The first one that we're going to look at is getting things done. This has been a rather inspirational uh, website to many people in the business world. And I'd like to take a look at that first of all. So let's go across to our web page. Okay, so here we are at the Getting Things Done website, or GTD as it's known. You'll find lots of tutorials about GTD uh, online through YouTube. But the best place to start here, I think, is uh, on David Allen's web page. Uh, he's pointing out very clearly that if you don't have stuff on your mind, you are able to have clearer thought, clarity in your mind, and you're able to have better ideas. And he even goes as far as uh, showing his system off by going to the Getting Started page and looking at the five steps of all his work. He starts off with something called Capture, which essentially is just you writing everything that is on your mind right now on a piece of paper. Get it all down in one place. So collect all your bills together, collect all the uh, items which you still have to work on, put all the, the jobs that you have to do around the house, or maybe you've got a garden, or maybe the car needs a service, Maybe you have to go visit family members, write it all down. And his idea here is that if you can collect it all in one place, you can then begin to work with it because your brain's not trying to hold on to that uh, information all the time and then waking up halfway through the night where you need to write down an extra idea. Then you need to start making uh, it clear to yourself. So what does each piece that you've written down mean? Does it have a, a special priority in your list? Is it very important? What do you need to do with it? Do you need to do it right away or does it need to take another place? After that, it's quite simple. We're going to begin to organize it. And as you can see right through these first three steps, Evernote is just perfect for this. We can begin to write down in one place everything we have on our mind. We can then begin to work out what each one of those things mean. Maybe we can action them straight away and get rid of them. Or maybe we need to organize them. Maybe we want to use our notebooks here, or maybe you want to use a tagging feature. So we've got them ready to go uh, on and start ticking them off, getting rid of them. The next step here is reflect. And if you don't do reflect, I'm afraid if you don't do this step here, you end up with a system whereby you have lots of notes, lots of things written down on bits of paper, and you begin to get a bit muddled and confused, and you go back to the system which you had before, which is trying to remember everything. This, for David Allen, for the GTD method, is probably its key feature. This is where you have to keep going over a week or once a day or once, a, once every two weeks. Go over all those notes which you've written down, every single one. Prioritize them. Make sure you're working with them. If they're not being actioned, get rid of them. Well, you obviously weren't going to do them. If you are going to do them, then get on and do it. Find a way of working it out. And last one is engage, and he does right here just simply do, and I have to agree here with David Allen. At the end of the day, once you've written things down, you've organized it, you've planned, you know what you're doing, you have to then do it. You can't get away with it, you can't get out of it, you have to keep on doing it. So once you get onto the doing, the other things get simpler and simpler because you're actioning each one. So that's just a very brief introduction to the getting things done method. And uh, I certainly encourage you to go and look at the website and go and watch some of the tutorials, maybe get some of the ideas. There's lots of graphics on the way you can break all this down. And uh, perhaps you want to go and look at that to find out what there is going on. Another website that I would direct your attention to when you're starting off with Evernote is a website called The Secret Weapon. This really looks at the way that tagging could be used and could be used to your advantage to place everything in. They do look at David Allen's uh, GTD method of how getting things done and try to put things into its place. It does get a little bit complex when you're first starting off, so I will definitely not going to sugarcoat it, but it does get easier the more you use it. Let's head over and have a look at this quickly. All right, the secret weapon. Here's a website it's putting together your email, Evernote, and the GTD method. I'm trying to link them all together, but their main focus is working with a little bit of notebooks and a lot of tagging. If we look over here to where uh, the secret weapon manifesto, 
lies, you'll find more information on how you can get started here. And they begin to explain what the issue might be and how you can maybe answer these particular problems that you have when trying to organize things. Plenty to read, but I'll direct you here to it. it says setting up the secret weapon. The reason I want to direct you here is this is where your notebooks come into play. So where you can start getting tags and also what you can name the, uh, the various parts of Evernote. So here it says setting up notebooks. And it says to set up these particular notebooks. You've got a cabinet, one for called action pending and one which is called complete. And then it says start creating initial tags and writing these uh, full stops. Also writing the exclamation mark one, two, three and the at symbol, making sure that you have all those down as tags. And then that says last add first names of any family member or co-workers that you have a lot of to do's with. Um, this makes it just a little bit easier later on. It then says that you start to nest ideas underneath each one of those tags. So if you've got the what tag, you have active project and active read and when, etc., etc. You start filing them all underneath each other. So you begin to see what looks like nested ideas. All right. Remember, you can have quite a few nests within tags. You can only do one level within notebooks. All right. Now, this is really where we're going to end with the secret weapon because there's a lot to read to, to start off with and if you're just beginning Evernote this can all look a little bit overwhelming but the idea is just to give you different options of laying out Evernote. All right the third person I want to draw your attention to in the website is Jamie Todd Rubin. Uh, Jamie Rubin has uh, been using Evernote for some time and he quite happily blogs about the way that he uses Evernote and uh, some of the systems that he's been through. I just want to show you a particular page you'll find the link in the description below and I'll try and put it right over this page as well. So you just need to click it if you want to go and see what he's up to. OK, following the link in the description or if you clicked on the video, you should be uh, I should have ended up in Jamie Todd Rubin's web uh, website. He has quite a lot of information. He does talk about how he went paperless and um, how he, he uses uh, different strategies. But this is really what I wanted to draw your your your, your attention to. He has uh, notebooks and he has a tag structure with an Evernote. And he, it goes on to explain how he organizes his notes with an Evernote. So what his tags look like, what his notebooks look like. And he goes all the way through the problems that he's had while he's been doing this. It is a very detailed article. It is worth looking through if you're wanting to find a different way of structuring yourself. And uh, I'd point you in that particular direction. As you can see, he does go quite heavily into the tags. Uh, this might not be your kind of thing. You might not want to tag uh, everything into such a minute order. Um, maybe you just want to set up a few uh, tags just to get you started and find things as you go. But one for reading if you're interested in what Jamie's tried, what he's failed at, and what is now he's succeeded at, and uh, how he's finding it. The article is quite old, 2013, but um, well worth the read. The last person I want to talk about is Michael Hyatt. Uh, Michael has had uh, also various trials and errors with uh, Evernote, and he's also quite openly discussed how he's come to his system of organizing Evernote, and it might be worthwhile just looking at his website quickly. This is Michael Hyatt's website. You can find his uh, this link to directly to this page within the description below, or even if you just click on the video, there uh, should be something coming up on the screen right about now. There you go. All right. Uh, he often talks about Evernote and he um, talks about how his system is uh, laid out. He also talks about some limitations, how you can use notebooks. He gets into all the technical uh, numbers. If you're really interested in finding out all that, you can find it directly from Evernote. You can read Michael Hyatt's uh, information. But this is really where you want to look at it, how he organizes his notes, puts them all into um, various categories, and then how he loads his information into this he uses also a combination of tags. He's explaining clearly how you can use shortcuts if you're a Mac user. Um, you can set them up on Windows as well, uh, should, you, uh, should you want shortcuts. Uh, and then he even goes into how you can uh, level down in your tags. Uh, fairly long article as well, but well worth a read just so you understand what's going on uh, and uh, what he's putting into his uh, system. And that's pretty much us, a very brief overview of uh, certain systems you might be interested in. Uh, the GTD way, the getting things done way, is probably what a lot of business people are using right now um, to organize themselves. 
a secret weapon is a good tagging start. I'm not so sure that uh, it needs to be quite as involved, but well worth an effort when you're starting off. Uh, Jamie Todd, just to find out that people, different people use different systems, and the same for Michael. There's just an example of different people use and try different systems, and I would encourage you to do the same. Don't be scared. Don't be worried about uh, putting things in one notebook and then having to change your system a few weeks down the road after you get a few notes and you realize that it doesn't work. That's absolutely fine. Rather try the system, get something working with an Evernote, and then go from there. You can always mold and change and improve your system as you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is just part of a larger tutorial that I made. I've added a bit extra in here, so if you watched all the way through, you've got a little bit of an extra bonus. Any links that you need to see will be in the description, and uh, I hope to have you subscribing and watching along to any further tutorials that are up and coming. Thanks again. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.